Better let tomorrow's back on screen 15 years later. I know you heard the question down the line here, but how does it feel to, to see it back and this and the Sundance edit on the screen here at the Grommans? Oh, it's pretty amazing. It's like celebrating a birthday party for a movie. So it's cool. It's cool that you know we get the sport still. We get to revisit the conversation and you know what the film means to the community. And yeah, it's nice. Such a big impact with MTV and Paramount along its side. How did that help impact your career after? after you filmed it? Well, you know, it gives you, you know, an insight on what the business is, the business of show business, right? And so you realize that, you know, there's this equity that you're in control of, and it's called, you know, you know believing and being proactive. But you got to do it yourself. It, Better Luck Tomorrow is a testament of it, is that, you know, many things need to happen, and, you know, there's a concoction of luck and all of these magical things, but you got to be in it. You got to hustle. You got to move forward. And otherwise, these movies, these stories are not told. And you, as an actor, do not have an opportunity. There's so many great films here in this circuit. Is there anything that you're excited to see, or any buzz that you've been hearing about a certain film on the current uh, on the current uh, roster? On the, uh, on the, in, the this circuit here. For the LA no, I don't know this, the the schedule that well. Um, but I do have a friend, Nadine. Nadine Truong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She has a screening tomorrow, Friday. And I'd like to check that out. But it's just a great area to go and explore and meet this new generation of storytellers, right? So. So as far as what you've seen for the progression of Asian American in entertainment uh, throughout the years since you've started, how, uh, how do you think the progression has been on t through TV and through film? You know, that's a question for the questionnaire. How do you feel about that? How do you feel? How do you feel about that? I see progression. I definitely see progression. Yeah. I wish there was more there. Yeah. Like if on a 1 to 10, like where is it at right now? For me, I would say it's probably at a 6. On TV, it's at a 6. On film, it's at a 3. In the last decade? In the last decade. Or with, is this the last five years? Last five years. 60%? Oh, no, one, a 1 to 10 is 6. 1 to 10 is 6 for TV. I'll say 3 for film. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's pretty good then. I would say because when I started, it was way less than that. Would you go? Would you go down the negatives? No, 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 never, never negative. Maybe like a one to two and a one to two. So if you're like at a three in the film and you know at a six on TV, then it's doing pretty good. You know, I have such a micro perspective lens of how I see it. Right? I can. It's never enough for me. Like I always want more and more work, work, or yeah. But then on a macro, as the viewer. As a consumer, as an Asian male, that would like his face, his voice represented. It's interesting to think that you know you think it's a six. I'm excited about TV. You know, yeah, I think there's great opportunities there. So hopefully that six, you know, gives me a canvas or a, you know a group of people to go be a you know embody a character and play with. I'm sure it will. That was the best answer I've had on the carpet so far today. What's that? The best answer question back to me. Situation. That oh, was yeah? The best one I've had today. Oh, great. I really appreciate it. Well, Thank I'm you, man. I'm glad I could contribute. <laughs>